Hi, my name is Victoria Ekstrand. I sometimes put up videos of me singing, and I've decided to start doing a series of movie and book reviews for my YouTube channel um, because I read a lot and I see a lot of movies, so I figured I could give some good insight. So my first review is going to be of Pitch Perfect 2. Surprise! Really big film, premiered uh, Thursday night and I saw it last night here in Austin, Texas. I was so excited for this film. Like the first one is one of my favorites of the last, you know, five years of comedy. I loved the music in the first one. I loved the acting. The story was hilarious. And I just, I mean, I've seen it a million times and still enjoy it. So I was really excited for this second one. And I had super high expectations, but after going in and seeing it, the movie as it stands is really good and really funny, but I didn't like quite have my expectations met. Um, and my best friend Marie and I talked about this for forever afterwards. One thing that really bothered me was how much of the fat Amy character there was. Um, Rebel Wilson is really funny, but sometimes, like, you need her humor in doses, and it was just, like, constant. And the romance between her and Bumper, you know, was a huge thing, which was fine, but she did not need that whole solo across the lake when they have such other talented singers in there. So that was one thing. I also really felt that the Troublemakers should have had more of a presence. Um, their only, like, full number was right at the beginning, Lollipop, and I just wish they could have done some more. Um, I really enjoyed the rip-off scene again. That was my favorite scene. Hilarious. A couple great surprises in there. Um, and just really funny. And I really enjoyed Haley Steinfeld's character. I thought she was a great addition to the cast. Um, and I thought that, you know, all the old characters, Chloe and Becca and everything was really great. I did miss the Jesse becca romance a little. It was not a huge thing and I wish it had been. Um, and for the finale, you know, I was so excited for that because the, the Bella's finale in the first one is so great. And Das Sound Machine's finale I thought was fantastic. I loved the mashup they did. All I do is win, you know, bringing in that. Just the whole mashup was awesome. But then the Bellas came out and it was really good, but I felt it kind of was missing the same excitement factor that DSM had had or that they had had in the first one. Um, I wish that they had maybe switched, done Flashlight at the beginning and then do, you know, Who Run the World second. Um, and I wish they had thrown in Lady um, Marmalade at the end too because they had did that during the retreat scene. But all overall, I mean, I laughed the entire time. I still really enjoyed it, like for sure. But it didn't quite meet the first one for me and I mean I don't know how I expected that it could because the first one was just so great you know being what it was special new unique cool um so this one was it was good for a sequel it just wasn't like as good as the first one but I definitely recommend that you guys all go and watch it comment any thoughts you have um question for this movie would be who is your favorite character and and why what about them do you like? I, I like a lot of the characters in this movie. Um, they're all really awesome. And so something, yeah, Flo is a new character. I really thought she was funny. Um, and everybody did do a good job for sure. So I hope you guys enjoy my first review. Um, people can use this to see if they want to go see it themselves or just to have a discussion with me. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. I hope everybody has a really excellent day. Bye.